Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can automate system restore to make regular system restore points of our system. Now this could be a great safety net if you are always uh, tinkering with your computer or if you get infected or whatever it may be that you want to set um, automated system restore points up for. Now obviously uh, you're going to need to enable system restore and uh, by default uh, system restore is disabled so we're going to go down to the search here and we can put in here system and we can go restore like so and you can see here it says create a restore point so we just click on this and this is our box here now obviously you're going to need to make sure that you enable it and I, mine is on so if yours is not on you're going to need to configure it and then make sure you turn it on. Mine is already turned on here, so I can uh, use it. So you can set up your space here to allocate how much space you want for it. And once you've got that done, you're pretty much good to go. Now you can see here uh, that we can create restore points, but there's no automated system here. So what I'm going to show you here is once you've turned it on, is to go to task scheduler. So you want to go task and you can see here as soon as I put task in uh, scheduler comes up. So I'm going to click on uh, task scheduler. And here we have a uh, task scheduler. Now on here you will have a bunch of uh, tasks. If I come up on the top left hand side here, you have a bunch of tasks already in place by Microsoft here. As you can see, if I go into Windows here, you will see a bunch of good stuff in here. Now the one we're interested in is system restore and this is the one here so go down to system restore and you can see here we have some uh, stuff here that we can mess around with so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this area here in the system restore folder and what we're going to do is right click on this and go to properties this will open up the uh, properties box here now once you get inside here you want to go into triggers inside triggers we can now set up a trigger and we're going to go new and this will open up as you can see here begin a schedule on a schedule and you can make this one time as you can see here it's set to one time but you can change it uh, these are already set in place so if you want to do it daily you can set up daily but this may get a little bit out of hand and, and use a lot of space so you may want to do it weekly and uh, you can set this up to weekly it saves you having to do it and you can incur uh, one week's on and you can do it on a Sunday and you can set up your start date and also here you can see your time and you can set this up so depending on what you want to do here you just set up your date and your time and uh, once you've done that and you can see here we've got repeat task and we've also got delay task and uh, stop task if it runs longer than three days and so on and so on and you can expire it as well here now once you've got this set up exactly how you like it you can see it's set here uh, for today and uh, we can also set up a time so for instance if I did 30 here that means at 7 30 uh, on this day today on Sunday every Sunday it's going to create if I had it on weekly every Sunday at this time it's going to create a system restore point click OK and you can now see we have got that set in stone it's been enabled we can click OK and we're pretty much good to go from there and you can close it off anyway and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can create your automated restore points uh, using this method and task schedule it's pretty easy to do and uh, I know you guys wanted to see some more task schedule uh, tutorials anyway I'm going to wrap this one up I hope this one helped you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.